2020 wasn't shit. I don't know why every time I start a video, I put these in my ear and knowing I'm going to take them out. If you're watching this video, guys, we made it to 2021. I don't know about y'all, but in 2020, I feel like at certain points, I hate cursing on this channel. I mean, I know I curse a lot. You, you just said you hate cursing, but nigga, you curse every other time, every other video. I feel like 2020 brought the bitch out of all of us at some point. Like, it really had us thinking, damn, am I as tough as I really thought I was? Damn, man, am I as hard as I really thought I was? Can I handle as much as I thought I could handle? The answer was either yes or it shouldn't have been no. What it should have been instead of no is maybe. The question in this video is what did you learn about yourself in 2020 that you're going to carry out to better yourself in 2021? So, I had to ask myself that question. What did 2020 do for me? What did 2020, how did 2020 build Trevor up? How did 2020 break Trevor down so Trevor can learn how to build himself back up? Those are questions you should be asking yourself. So, um, I think 2020, and I made a video similar to this, so I'm really not going to make this video too long. I'm not going to make this video too long. I made a video pretty similar to this. Where I just basically talked about 2020. So y'all probably tired of me saying 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020 this, 2020 that. My fault. 2021 was, very, I mean, 2020 was a very trying year, y'all. Um, we really had to band together as individuals to get through this. I don't care what nobody say. Nobody got through this shit alone. Nobody got through them 365 days alone. Nobody did. It would have been impossible to. You needed somebody to lean on. You needed somebody to support you. You needed somebody to lift you up in parts where you kind of dragged behind. You needed that because it was just that type of year. It was the year that kind of showed you where your weakness lied and where you should build strength. That's the type of year it was. So I feel like my biggest uh, piece of advice for people going into 2021 is all that negative energy that was pushed out in 2020. I want y'all, I want everybody to embrace that. I want everybody to take all of that in and turn it into something positive. Turn it into a form of strength. Because everybody experienced some type of pain, some type of hurt in that year. Like, I ain't even got to go through everything. Shit, we in a pandemic still, and we're in the next year. That's not the point. The point is, going into this year, figure out ways to help yourself grow. Figure out ways to help yourself become a better person. Figure out ways to develop your mind. Your physical, your physical uh, stature, all that. Figure out ways to better you. Let this be the year of of me. Like everybody, don't be selfish. Don't turn your back on your loved ones, on the ones that's always be the, been there for you. But everybody has to be selfish in some way. And what I mean by that is, you have to be able to understand that in most situations, you have to be able to put yourself first ahead of everything else. If you're not okay, how are you gonna make sure everything else is uh okay? How are you going to secure your bag if you're not okay? You helping everybody else get their money right. You helping everybody else find their direction. You helping everybody else find their path, but where's yours? Meanwhile, you help everybody find their goddamn path. Then you fuck around, look up, everybody going down their path. Everybody just thriving. You know, everybody's doing fantastic. But you sitting there at the starting point. You have not found your, you have not found your path yet. You know why? Because your ass is too busy helping everybody else find their path. And that's okay. Don't stop having a good heart. Have that good heart. Good hearts make the world go round. Good hearts are the last thing that's making this fucked up world even worth living in. Keep your good heart, but be smart about it. Protect yourself. Having a good heart comes with a lot of responsibility because one wrong slip up can ruin everything. Breaking a person with a good heart's heart one time can ruin so much. It can create so much. It can it can create so many toxic situations that never needed to happen. Because that person's so used to giving their all. That person's so used to giving their best. That person's so used to 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 building other people up. Like they could give a damn about themselves. Like yeah, they care about themselves. You know, in the slightest way that you possibly could. But their focus is if I love you, I'm gonna use this love I got in me. Instead of instead of giving and turning it into self love, I'm a I'm a out I'm a, it's gonna be an outpour of it onto you. That's that's what comes with a person with a good heart. And you break that person's heart, it's it's that that's the biggest form of stabbing them in the back. If you got a good heart, protect yourself, maintain that good heart because there ain't that many left, and we gotta protect uh, all the ones that's left. 
There's a lot of messed up people out here, and that's just the truth of the matter. Went to 2021. Focus. This year, don't this don't spend another year doing the same bullshit you was doing last year. If you was doing bullshit, don't spend another year doing it. Don't spend another year thinking about oh maybe I can do it. I I probably can do it. Nah, bro. Sometimes you just gotta take a chance. I learned the best way to move throughout life sometimes. Yeah, you'd be smart, think about uh, consequences and stuff. But sometimes you just can't care. You just gotta act on something. If you like, oh, I'm gonna start a YouTube channel, don't think about, oh, what video I'm gonna make? Just do it. I don't know what videos I'm gonna make. I don't know what videos I'm gonna make. Because that's what I did. Just do it. Just make it. Make that shit. Just do it. Stop talking. Shit. Instead of saying, oh, dang, I'm gonna start working out January 1st. Oh, nah. I was hungover from uh, New Year's Eve. I'm going to go January 2nd. Uh, maybe January 3rd. Oh, you know what? I'm going to go January 4th. Let's start the next week off right. No. No. No, bro. Just get up and do it, man. Stop wasting time. That's the only thing we can't get back on this earth. You figure out a way to get some other things back. Don't waste no more time. You can't get that back. Use your time and build yourself up. This is the year I need every goddamn person. I need to see everybody in a completely different space than they was. At, at the end of this year, I need everybody to be in a completely different space. All my niggas that rap, my nigga, your album better be. This nigga academics better be posting your album by next year. He will be. All my niggas that do YouTube, man, we all, bruh. We all better be in the algorithm by next goddamn summer. We got to put this grind on, y'all. We got to. Stop the bullshit. Let's get to it. We all a family, bro. We all. Hey, I don't care what nobody said. Black, white, Hispanic. If you out here, man, and you got a vision, you got a path, get on that shit. Let's get to it, bro. Let's stop playing games. Let's stop, let's, let's stop it. Let's just keep it going.